Oh, what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Today's challenge is a racket building battle. We have to invent a completely new tail tennis racket. 100 euro budget, two hours time. Time Shopping. starts now. Oh, oh, which way? Let's hunt the, the required objects. First thing, a figure saw. Let's figure out which figure saw we're gonna take. Maybe I'll take this one. For my racket, I'm thinking about some extra reach. This isn't what I'm looking for. Is this the only umbrella they have in Finland? Next sword. No luck. My racket involves a revolutionary technology, perhaps. It's in the sports section. I have found my blade. <laughs> I hope they don't mind that I'm opening up the bag. We'll have to modify the extensions. We'll need a different shop for that. Emil is also shopping here. I'm gonna have to hide from him. Maybe spy on him, see what he's up to. Then we need a veneer sheet. Which one has the best sound? This is the thing that I, I need, but I don't need this big. Or do I need? How big do we want to make the racket? <laughs> is the question. It only makes sense to make a big racket for a big guy. This is what we're looking for. Ah, a nice looking handle. I mean, look at that. It's not a bad idea, actually. Like here would be the racket head. And then you smash. It's gonna have to be like a flat surface. That's gonna be like, I'll like cut a shape like that. Maybe the second extension could be this direction. Then you could play both ways. We need a chain next. Something like this has like to be this. strong. Could that work? That could work. It's gonna be very cool, I promise you. Who is that guy? What is he doing? He's spying on me. Get away. Typical cheater. I think the sausage racket that's in the back now. But for the umbrella, how would I do that? Should I maybe use this bit in between? Maybe I could have three extensions. It'll be like a super wide extension. It'll have to be perfect fit. Instruction manual, won't be needing that. <laughs> I'll, I'll spend ages building this and have no idea how it actually works until we're back at the hall. So welcome to Emil's corner. So the first thing I'm gonna take veneer, take the measures of a, of a real racket just to get the, the right size. I will need a bit longer this part. We just need to start cutting it. I expected it to be faster. And I'm done <laughs> myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, now this is so much better. Yeah, the first piece is off. Making the first attachment is gonna take a while. I, I've done half a centimeter. Look, this might actually work. <laughs> Maybe I could have used scissors to cut this whole thing. Next, how do we attach this? I'll try super glue. I'm gonna put like rubber bands. These rubber bands are so old. They shouldn't break like this. I don't have time. <laughs> So it's just a stick. Let's get on with it. Something like that. Next thing. So basically this is going to be my racket. The other one. I don't even need to get this really tight. It's done. I'm sure I'm gonna win every challenge with this. I'm happy. That was a bit faster. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. It's starting to look like a racket, like slowly but steadily. How suspicious does this look? Final push, come on! This is the base of the racket. This is gonna be the handle, one block to each side. And then let's cut this one. I don't think many people cut their handles <laughs> in two parts. Then we need the drill. It's creating a fire. Screw number one, does it fit? Does. Yeah. Then we put the chain there. It's gonna be so good. Like, I'm so excited about this already. <laughs> now I'm doing my racket's secret second extension, and it needs to fit between the claw, our third and final extension. Yes. No. Now, all I have to do is glue it there. All they need are the rubbers and a slight aesthetic modification and since we're closing in on the time limit, I better get cracking. So the building process has been done. Who will go first? I think you, you can, can start, Emil. Okay, I'll take the honor to be first. Just wait and see for this one. Okay, guys. Oh, what? 
Surprise! Before we show our rackets, we want to tell you about our holiday campaign. Our online store is now full of amazing offers and when you order anything over 50 euros, you'll get a unique greeting card signed by all three of us. The card also includes a QR code that opens an exclusive bonus video just for you. So treat yourself or surprise your loved ones by heading over to Pongfinity.store. But now let's get back to my racket. Oh, what? Nunchuck. I like the craftsmanship, Emil. You've yeah, done a good job. You. Do you think that's gonna bring some good power to the shots? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this will be extremely hard to play with. It's more like a weapon. <laughs> I think you could play with this in a tournament. Maybe not the best idea. Somebody who knows the ITTF regulations about blades, let us know, would this pass an international tournament? I can go next. Emil brought out the nunchucks. What's up? They're gonna bring it's out. It's the Emil chuck. It's the name of the of the racket. Okay, you can open. It's just <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's basically a normal table tennis racket. There's there's a catch to this. <laughs> yes, I'm not the fastest mover. I have a good reach, but you can always use some oh! extra reach. Oh, oh, so, oh that's if I do a forehand here, the whole table's open. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. I was worried that's going to happen, but at least it lasted for a while. That's the coolest thing that I've ever seen. So I would definitely buy this. There's some developing still to be done. Lastly, Mikas. I think the standard is pretty high now. Behold, the Vibrinator to make extreme power in the shot. <laughs> okay. Emil's not impressed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And he's broken it! <laughs> I will never give you anything, Emma. Okay, I, I want to try yours. <laughs> Luckily, it comes with spare parts. <laughs> <laughs> that broke too! I, I hope there is a spare part. Do the spare part. Yeah, well, actually, there is. The last spare part. <laughs> the Vibra Wall. <laughs> Yeah, good, good try, Mika, good try. I'll have to reinforce this with some tape. Next are the challenges. Let's see which racket takes the win. And the first one is to bounce the ball ten times on your racket. Go. One, two, three, four, oh. five, six. <laughs> that is, that's it, that's it. <laughs> your racket was made for that. It was. Okay. Now you have to do it with the extension. Isn't that much harder with the extension? This is obviously going to be a bit hard, but this is the thing. That's cheating. If I needed to use the extension, you need to use the whole racket. Lastly, we need harder challenges. For the next one, there's going to be a high bounce and then you have to smash it. This is my be the one where it breaks. Okay. <laughs> it was just slower. Nice, nice. Oh, it, it holds up the Emuchak. Let's hope it won't come off. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's insane. Next challenge is who imitates the robot. <laughs> Next challenge, who can create spin on their shot? Let's do it. Oh, wow. uh -huh. Can I do this without the extension? Yes. I'm very curious to see the Emil Chuck. Come on, Emil Norris. The deciding challenge will be up to you guys once again. We'll put an Instagram poll asking whose racket will you guys choose? Get the expendable racket. The most dangerous ping pong racket in the world. Vibratron 2000. The results are in the third place with 21% of votes. The vibrating racket. It's still bronze. And the winner of the racket battle with over 50% of the votes, Otto's a... Extension oh! Racket! <laughs> Let us know in the comments below which racket building battle we should do next time. If you don't want to buy one of our silly rackets, <laughs> we have proper rackets on Pongfinity.store. Go and check it out. Pongfinity.store. <laughs>